What's good, YouTube? Your boy back at home, man. I'm back in the studio. All righty, guys. So uh, let's break down this Monday slate, guys. So uh, the theme of that song is lucky for you guys. That's what I like when it comes to DraftKings and DFS, baby, because this uh, NBA is getting tough, man. Closer we get to the end of the season, guys, the tougher it's going to get to pick the right place, but you got to stick with the teams that's playing, okay? If it's Tank City, stay away, guys. I'm telling you, stay away, all right? But anywho. Let's go ahead and break down today's slate, guys. As you can see on the screen, we got one, two, three, four, five games, all right, on the slate. And I got a couple of games that I really, 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 really like and that I'm going to focus on, just me personally. But all right, guys, so I'm going to give you my top picks for the day, guys. So before we break it down, let's talk about this draft dashboard, guys. All right, MLB is around the corner. We're going to be rolling that up. And so um, uh, with MLB around the corner, draft dashboard has extended the free trial or i'm sorry the one dollar trial to 30 days guys so if you sign up through the description in my link for draft dashboard you get 30 days for one buck all right guys give it a try out man hey what's the worst that can happen guys give it a 30 day trial see how it works out for you for this mlb season and if you like it you keep it if you don't cancel it you're out of one buck so let's just go through it real quick and let me show you how it works guys this position optimizer is what i like for nba just go in here and you select each position, and uh, you find your top plays. All right, guys? So if you saw on point guard and small four, we had the same player at the top. That's Big, big Ben. All right, guys? So I like Ben Simmons today anyway. But uh, as you can see, guys, you just scroll through each position, select the players that you like. All right? So let's go in small forward. And let's say we like uh, power forward. Let's say we like Al Horford. We like him, lock him in. Let's say we like uh, Griffin. We lock him in. All right? Then once we get done, we go to uh, lineup optimizer. Click on that and let it optimize your lineup. All right, as you guys can see, it's spent $4,900, and this is the lineup that it spit out. All right, so if you like this lineup, we, we lock it in and we keep it. If we don't, we can upgrade. So let's say we don't like Dwayne Bacon, right, which is a great value play, by the way, guys. All right, we can go in here and we can upgrade him to somebody else or whatever the case may be. All right, but I like that one, so I'm going to go ahead and lock it in, actually, because I like TJ McConnell, too. I don't know what it is about these home games with this dude here. Actually, it's not a home game, but uh, TJ McConnell, he's been playing a lot of minutes lately, so. But, uh. As you can see right here on the screen, 18 minutes, 20 minutes, 18. All right, but TJ McConnell is one of those players that can go off, guys. So, All right, but anyway, that's Draft Dashboard, guys. Give it a shot. Like I said, the trial is no longer seven days. It's now 30 days for one buck. Description in the link. All right, guys, so let's get it popping, guys. So I already kind of gave away one of my, my plays. So my thunder is going to be this boy right here, Ben Simmons. Now, the last time these teams met, he played 32 minutes, and he had a terrible game, guys. He had five points, picked up five personal fouls. Had a terrible game, but I like him in a bounce-back spot at home. He's been playing hot lately. Put up a triple-double in his last game that he played versus Minnesota. I expect it to be a competitive game, fast pace. Ben Simmons is going to smash. All right, guys? Lock him in. Plus, he's too goddamn cheap, guys. All right? If you look at his price on FanDuel versus DK, this guy's too cheap, man. All right? Next up, I'm going back to the well on this guy right here, especially if he's starting tomorrow. Trey Burke versus Charlotte. They're giving him heavy minutes. I think he played 27 minutes this last game versus Washington. Put up 31 draft king points, had 19 points, a couple steals, some assists, and a few rebounds. But I like him versus Charlotte. He played them before. He played 19 minutes off the bench and put up 26 draft kings points, guys. So I like this guy. If he's starting, getting 25 plus minutes, I like him to put up 30K. I mean, 30, a 30 burger. All right. So I'm locking in Trey Burke tomorrow, guys. Again, New York is pretty much dead, guys. But, you know, they're playing the games, they, they're trying to be competitive. All right. Another player I like, guys, going back to that uh that Philly game on the other side of the ball, I like my boy Jokic. Look at that price, guys, 8.6K. When's the last time we saw him at that price? I don't think it's ever been that, that cheap. All right, guys, Draft Kim is begging me to play. They dare me to play him versus uh, Embiid. I'm locking him in, guys. Last time these teams met, he put up 53 Draft King points. I can't remember if Embiid was playing or not because, you know, he missed a couple of games early in the year. But I like joking, man. His price is too damn cheap, guys. I'm sorry. 8.6K. Like I say, DraftKings daring me to play him. I'm locking him in. All right, another player I like tonight, guys. If he plays tomorrow on the back-to-back, because -back, it is a back-to-back, -back, I like Al Horford, guys. Again, Power Forward is where you want to go versus Phoenix. Phoenix, if you look at this uh, DVP, all right, right here, Power Forward. Boston has the best spot on the Power Forward board, all right? 66 DraftKings points they're averaging, giving up in the last week played. 
All right, guys? So if we go for the full season, let's just look at it for the full seasons for shits and giggles. All right? All right, full seasons. Go back to DraftKings. Go to today's game. 47. He's still in the best spot. All right, guys? So I like Al Horford if he's starting tomorrow. No, it's a back-to-back, but I'm locking him in, guys. I like him for 40. All right? All right, that's four. And who's the fifth and final play, guys? All righty. It's going to be a head scratcher, all right? But I like Reggie Jackson, guys, all right? I like point guards versus L.A., guys. I've said it before. But I like Reggie Jackson, guys. His minutes has been trending up. You know, I know he just came back from an injury. I think it was an ankle injury or something like that. He went for 20 minutes to 22 minutes. So, guys, if we hear that he's not going to be on a limit, a minute limit, please lock in Reggie Jackson, guys, all right? 4.4K. Last time his team's met, he paid 27 minutes to put up 40 DraftKings points, guys. All right. So I like Reggie Jackson at home if he's off the minute restriction, guys. All right. So if he is still on a minute restriction, all right. So let's say hypothetically speaking, we get an announcement tomorrow that he's on a minute restriction. Then I'm going with the other guard in New York. All right. All right. So, all right. What's his name? Where is he at? Right there, Moutier. So, I like him because, again, they both played 20 minutes or so. They both did pretty decent, all right? He got a couple of rebounds, a couple of assists, a couple of points. All right, so if you look at the splits, last time his teams met, he played 15 minutes and put up 21 DraftKings points. So, I like him if, you know, again, if Reggie Jackson is going to be on a minute restriction. But even with the minute restrictions, guys, I think Reggie Jackson can put up some some decent points versus L.A. in his short time on the, on, on the court. So, all right, guys, so that's my top plays off the bat. A couple of players that I like. That's not um, in my top plays, but, you know, they were they were close to making it. All right, so let's go back and look at each position, guys. So when it comes to the point guard, guys, you got to love Kim Walker at home. He's playing against New York in a favorable matchup. Last three games they played, he averaged on the 25 DraftKings point. But Kim has been hot lately, guys. All right, another player I like is Jamal Murray. Again, I love this Philly Denver game, guys. Jamal Murray's been, been carrying the load lately. I believe Gary Harris is out. The last time his teams met, the dude put up 50, man. Played the whole game, 40 minutes, all right? So I like this guy, Jamal Murray, all right? F. Payton, guys, he played pretty good versus his old team, all right, in Orlando, all right? But does he do that again? Does he get 34 minutes again? I don't know. But, hey, if you like a chance, you know, hey, that's a GPP play, guys. All right, Andrew Harrison, all right, he's in a good spot versus Teague's defense. He played 37 minutes last game versus L.A. Lakers. And put up 40. So y'all see why I want Richard Jackson or whoever the point guard is for, for Denver versus uh, L.A.? Right, I'm just saying. Point guard smash versus that team, all right? All right. Another player I like, guys, at center, a power forward is Dario Sorry, guys. I like this guy at home versus Denver, all right? Last time the two teams met, he put up 42 DraftKings points. So I like Sark as well, all right? What else we got? Lopez versus Detroit. I like him. Millsap is in a good spot versus Philly. I like him. All right. In the bounce back spot. Mark Gasol, he's in a good spot if he plays versus Cats defense. Julius Randle's in a good spot. D. Howard. Oh, my God. He's playing against New York. Man, if that game stays close, I can see D. Howard putting up mega points, man, but I don't know if it stays that close personally. All right. But, hey, he's a good play. And, of course, Blake Griffin's always in play. Embiid, of course, his usage is, is ridiculous. All right, he's at home as well. You see these last couple of games, he only played 20 minutes or so. That was because the games were not even close. But I believe this Denver game will be close, and I believe he gets closer to 30-plus minutes. And as you see, when he plays 30-plus minutes, he puts up 50 DraftKings points or more. All right, so I like jo- Joel Embiid as well tomorrow, guys. But that's some of my top players, guys. Give me a look. Out. Oh, also, I know this guy here. His prices went up. And people are like, oh, I don't want to play him. But he's in a good spot tomorrow if Kyrie Irving, well, Kyrie Irving is still out. He had surgery. So I like Terry Rozier again to come back and smash again. This guy, again, he's there. That guard, he's playing 35 minutes or more. But I believe they said that the uh, small forward, what's his name, Brown? I believe he's going to be back um, tomorrow, if I remember correctly. Ready? Yeah, right here. Jalen Brown will play his starting in Sunday's matchup versus the Kings. Oh, he played in the last game. Oh, okay. Well, hey. So, Rozier may still be good, but that's a GPP play, guys. But anyway, good luck. I'm starting to ramble on. All right, guys, if you like the video, 
please hit that thumbs up button. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe, guys. All right, today was a milestone. We hit 400 followers on my YouTube channel. I just want to tell everybody thank you. I really, really do appreciate the love. I do this because of you. I wouldn't do this without you guys, but uh, I do appreciate the love, guys. So, all right, good luck on tomorrow's slate, and let's look forward to MLB.